Hey, how are you going, Sleek Geek? Hi, it's Adam Spencer and Dr. Carl with you. It's coming up towards Christmas. Carl, how about a special, a Sleek Geek's Christmas special? I love Christmas because there's nothing wrong with having a holiday and a good time. And I'd like to point out right at the beginning, let's make this clear, Santa is real. You got that? Santa is real. Oh, yeah. Oh, Santa's real. Never suggested otherwise. Scientifically proven. In all the peer-reviewed literature, the references to him imply that he has to be real. He is real. Kids, Santa is real. Okay. Just thought we'd get that out there first. The Sleek Geeks Christmas podcast is brought to you by the number 78 from my big book of numbers. 78 You'll struggle. twice 39. That's true. The prime number. No, it's not. 39 three lots of 13. Oh, oh right. Okay, so it's six lots of 13. I'll give you a clue. Yeah. Five gold rings. Oh, bunch of days after Christmas thingy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep... How do I get 78 from the... Oh, add up the total number of gifts. There you go. Yeah. If I was to give someone 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords are leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids are milking, 7 swans are swimming, 6 geese are laying, 5 gold rings... Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. I'd have given them 12 presents, plus 11, plus 10, plus 9, plus 8, dot, 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 plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 78 gifts. Hang on, are you saying that I don't have to go adding 1 plus 2 plus 3? There's a shortcut? There is indeed a shortcut. Now, strictly I'm saying the partridge and the pear tree are just contained as one gift there. We'll get Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, so those numbers, when you add up numbers like that, so uh, imagine the number 1 mm-hmm. as a single dot. Yep. Then let's add a one and put two dots beside it. They'd form a little sort of triangle, yeah? Yep. Then we could put a one and two dots and three dots beside that. Isn't this a handy graphic I've suddenly summoned up? One plus two plus three is six, and that'd again be a triangle, wouldn't it? A dot, then two dots, then three dots Ah. beside that. One plus two plus three plus four is ten. These are called the triangular numbers. Ah. One, three, six... 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45, 55, 66, 78. Did you work them out or did you remember them? I was working them out because I was adding adding 4, then adding 5, then adding 6, then adding... I'm a, I'm a nerd, but I don't my, know my triangular numbers off my heart, Carl. Oh, come on. Please. Uh, so... so- it's like a triangle that keeps on increasing in size at the base? Yes. And so the way that you work out the formula for the triangular numbers, the nth, nth. triangular number, so triangular number n mm-hmm. is equal to n times n minus 1 mm-hmm. divided by 2. This is a formula. So the fourth triangular number is, sorry, is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So the fourth triangular number is 4 times times 4 plus 1, which is 5, it's 20, divided by 2 gave us the 10. So the 12 blah, blah, blahs is the 12th triangular number. So that'd be 12 12 times 13, 12 plus 1. All divided by two. So 12 divided by two is six. Six thirteens are oh, 78. Six plus a 13. 78. Wow. There you go. You're trying to do it. That's your triangular numbers. Love the triangular numbers. Anyway. Hang on, but six is a perfect number as well. Six is perfect and triangular. Is, that, uh, is it allowed? Well, under the Geneva Convention? Well, and well, 28 is perfect and triangular. No. Yeah. Are you got, is, is that a coincidence? No, there's all these beautiful relationships between the yeah, triangular numbers and You're perfect numbers. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. We'll get there later. Wow. Or it's in my book. Well, what's the name of your book, Adam? Uh, Adam Spencer's Big Book of Numbers. Everything you want to know about the numbers 1 to 100. So the phrase that they use is turning into, quote, chunky red salsa. <laughs> <laughs> what, so what, just quickly, as a tangent, 